Hi, my name is Maria Daniela Sales Justin, and today we are going to talk about a concerning issue regarding almost all sectors of daily life activities as we know them, climate change. But today, we are going to give it a further scope. The impact of climate change in the processes of evolution and adaptation to the monarch butterfly. Before diving into the video, we'll need to understand a few concepts. We are going to discuss topics such as population ecology, However, due to the speed of the matter, many researchers are showing signs of concerns since the monarch butterfly is at risk of not being able to adapt. The species spends its summers in the northern United States and Canada, and when it's time for breeding, they travel to the southern areas of the US. Furthermore, the species travels to, cent to central Mexico for the winter. This means that their life cycles are highly dependent on Temperatures between 55 and low 70s when migration occurs, which means that they are dependent on consistent weathering patterns. Rain during winter, milkweed during mating. However, due to climate change, the large expedition of fossil fuels such as coal, iron and natural gas is resulting in large amounts of gases which are ca causing the current conditions of te the Texas milkweed being dried out. is one of the few species that travels in masses, with an approximate of 95% of the population migrating to the Mexican forest. This means that little changes in one particular area could kill the entire population. As an example, this nearly happened in 2002, when a winter storm killed about 75% of monarchs. According to Nayantara Nayaran, on Scientific American, the migration of the black, white, and orange butterfly is unique in the Lepidopteran world because its round trip is more like one undertaking by, by births. Monarch butterfly navigates using a sun compass in its midbrain and circadian clocks in its antenna. The species' environmental demands are very lenient. For example, the monarch butterfly is dependent on Goldilocks microclimates which are low enough to keep their metabolic demands down, but not so cold that the species freezes. Having chemical communication, temperature can become a critical trigger for the monarch. Its slow-worth journey climate change could be a big spoil sport in its mass migration. If they don't have this cold temperature environment, they seem to continue to go south, and the other way around. Monarch Butterfly Watcher says that these microclimates are in jeopardy from logging and degradation in the Mexican forests.